Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow and help get this out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we finished... I say finished. We turned on our... Um... Oil refinery, blimey the words are escaping me. We turned on our oil refinery that was producing all of our rubber and, or a lot of the majority of our rubber and plastic now and had a huge fuel power plant underneath. Now the fuel power is still trickling through um, and I've left this running and I've been looking into it and it is because it's manifolding so that just needs a bit of time to finish and flesh itself out and, and basically get us to where it needs to go. Now what I want to do today, I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I want to start trying to work on some copper. Um, and I've been thinking about where we can do this. So I've been having a look at the map and where we can basically make use of things. And we have three pure copper nodes right here. Um, they're at the back of where we're making all of our new iron stuff. Now the problem with this area is yes there's a little bit of water here because I'm going to want to do the pure copper and the steamed sheets to try and maximise my production there. Um, and there's a bit of water here I could use but this whole area is a nightmare because it's all full of trees, it's all basically messed up, it's not level. So I think if I were going to use these three nodes I'd want to extract them and move them somewhere else. What I have been thinking of doing, and what I think we're going to go with today, is actually coming up here, because there are a series of copper nodes here. He says, looking for them, impure. There are some somewhere, they're not in range of our um, radar tower, but there are three pure copper nodes somewhere in this desert area. And to be fair, even if there are aren't we could probably use some of the impure ones now part of the reason I'm thinking of this is there's a few oases around there's a big lake and a waterfall there and it's a nice flat area for us to work with so what I kind of want to do is make use of this area and I want to um, have the train station I want to have the base set up um, and I'm actually going to try and truck the ore over to the the base where the base is so I don't want to um, uh, words are escaping me. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to belt it over. I want to use the truck. So, considering they're not showing, let's have a look. Can we? Can we? There we go. Radar tower. Can we make a radar tower? So for that, I'm going to need some more heavy modular frames and some crystal oscillators. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. We'll toss ourselves off the edge. Okay. So our heavy modular frames are being produced over here. This is turning into a... I, I do want to clear this. I had someone um, the other day... Act, or it, was, yeah, it wasn't even the other day. I think it might have been today that I'm recording this. Where, <laughs> where they were talking about the spaghetti area here. And here I was like, yeah, I'm I'm nearly I'm basically eighty odd episodes in now, and it's still just as bad with the spaghetti. So yeah, do want to try and get around to sorting that. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 not today's job. Today's job, like I said, is gonna be trying to start sorting out some of the copper. Right, and production. Let's just throw that down there. Can I make crystal oscillators? I can make ten. But I don't have the space in the inventory for it. Lovely. Okay, well let's get rid of... Oh, I don't know. I suppose we don't need copper sheets quite so much at the moment, do we? Yeah, okay. Right, craft. So that's going to... So we're just going to whir through here. So I'll come back when I've got the 30 of them. Okay, so we've got the 30 crystal oscillators. So what I'm now going to do is we're going to run outside. And we're going to train ourselves over to where I think we're going to be working today. As 
just make sure there's nothing coming through that I'm about to uh, mess up with. Right, okay. And off we go. So... We're going to head out this way. And like I say, I think there's there's a lot of water. There's a lot of space for us to work with over in this direction. Um, and a lot of uh, copper nodes to work with. So even if we, I don't know, can't find the pure ones for whatever reason, we can make do with some of the impures and the normals and whatever. And I still keep thinking every time I drive past, I've no idea if I've got that hard drive down there. But yeah, I want to work over in here. I mean, it's not a black desert normally. It's just a desert, but... Yeah, I want to have a look at that. And then hopefully as we're doing this, the power is going to straighten itself out. So, I kind of want to be in line with this waterfall here. Um, and the main reason for that is that's going to be a water source for us. And we're going to need that water source because... If we are using the steam sheets and the pure copper um, ingot recipe, we're going to need access to that water. So, we want to be about here. No, oh, look, you could tell I've been pondering it in the past because I appear to have left a chunk of concrete here. Okay, however... We are going to do this in a slightly different way because I have a hover pack now, which means I can try and there we go. Yeah, look, it's copper nose all already around us. Okay, so yeah, we want to. Do a vertical. Uh, do I? I do want to do. Actually, yeah, I probably should have left some of this. Okay, so then. Right, that will go there. So if you're coming along there, right, and then I'll need that one to come to the same place. So I do need to give it a little, a little bit to work with. Yeah, make it as short as possible. Right, and then you are coming in here, like so. Or will it? So, that's going, which means, yeah, I'm going to need more coming out this way for the other line. Yeah, so if I grab you and we say that you are going to go there. Right, and then you lightning off that way. Okay, so I'm going to need to do a little bit of cutting with that track there. Okay, so we want to do that. Right, then you're coming along and going into that way. Perfect. And yeah, you want to go that way.
So about to there. And then rehook that up there. No, that was too short. It's probably going to really confuse the uh, steel train if it is trying to do this. Still too short. Okay. Well, let's do you first then. So you'd want to go to about there. All right. There we go, that's that sorted out. That's quite a tight little junction. Okay. So now we have the joy of bringing it down. And... How am I going to do this? Let's just work out how far it needs to go to make that turn. So you need to come Okay There we go, so you're going to want to go there And are you going to be able to go there. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to do another spiral down like we had before. So I'm just trying to work out where the center point for that needs to be. So. One, two, three. Because we were going one, two, it was four out, wasn't it? So that's where the center point needs to be. That one. So, four and vertical. And you are going straight down. Ooh, we're higher up here. Okay. So. This is where, in theory, the advantage is uh, better than last time. So we go one, because I can fly now, it's like properly fly. So one, that's one block, two block, three block. And let's just do that one, two, three, four. You now need to be zoop. Right, one, one, two, three, four. And we've got to go five out to accommodate both. And then we're going to want to do. Do, 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 do that. And then hopefully. Get to the edge. And then you can come round to there. Okay, all right, well, that's looking promising. Yep, okay. Two, three, one, two, three. Let's try it actually, just so I know. Right, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There we go. So then I know which one I'm bringing it off of.
That seems sensible, doesn't it? And then we can do the ramps again. go well, this is looking all right okay and then now we can and yeah having the rails here being able to let me do this hover pack so much better right so then we can do the customizer and we can paint down again two three four yeah that's so much better to mark it so i know where i'm going with it oh yeah we're getting in a rhythm now Oh, hang on. Yeah, much more like it. Okay. So much faster than last time. One, two, three, four. There we go, and then we'll do the ramps again. Okay, so I'm going to time-lapse the rest of this bit for you because, yeah, this is now just going to be repeating for this, and, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to need to concentrate, so the commentary might go a little bit quiet. So, yeah, I'll time-lapse the rest of this bit, and I will meet you guys again when we're back at the bottom. Okay, right, and we're back. So, I'm not going to go completely to the ground level because I am wanting to build a lot of this on a kind of like a similar level. So, I don't want to go to the ground level because then the dunes will get in the way. So, what I do want to do though is just give us a floor to work from. Just for the train station at the very least. Okay, so, we are left-hand drive, so we are going to have a train station do, 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 over here, which means I need to put a load out this way. Right, okay. Uh, and where is that? That's basically in this line here. Yep. Okay. Hopefully that's going to give me enough freight platforms behind. Yeah, we'll factory it that way. Two. Three. So not even close. But at least now those freight platforms are down. I can take this down. Uh, and go out a bit further. Missing concrete. I'm missing concrete of all things. Okay. So I'm going to need to go back and get some of that. But at least now I can... Uh, Drive a train back, which is something. 
Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go get the concrete and I will be back, uh, yeah, in a bit for you guys. Okay, right, and we are back with a lot of concrete. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And then we need a bit of room for the station itself at the end. Okay. Cool. Right, and then the station itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a train in here so that if we want to, we can get home nice and easily. Right, so now we need to hook up this track. So that should be easy for that. You are going to need to make a bit of a tight turn. Oh, also save. Oh, you managed it. Beautiful. Right. Okay, and then we can just run this all the way down. Side of turn, can we get out of you? We need to put a bit more concrete in the way. Telling me that's too tight a turn. Okay. That's fine. I mean, to be fair, there's not really a lot else using this, so I don't mind if that's... There we go. Not a perfectly straight shot. Cool. So, we've got a train station. We've got our way down. Now, one thing I do want to do is I want to head... No, I don't want to block signal. Oh, it's because I'm on the wrong. No, not windows. There we go. That's what I want. Now, I do want to just run some power all the way back up because we want to put down that radar tower so we can see what's in the area around here. thinking let me just do that grab that and we just whop it up another 10 not that we need to but you know okay and from memory oh it does look like it would just sneak on there doesn't it Beautiful. And then we'll just hook you in. What does that give us on the map? Way loads to play with. So there we've got normal, normal. Interesting, normal. Normal. Impure, normal. Why do I feel like... Um, Satisfactory map lied to me, I'm sure. It said there was like one there, one there, and one there. That's disappointing. Okay. What have you got in the... Okay, alright. Zish. Spider things. Okay, we've got two hard drives somewhere in this area we've not picked up. Okay. All right, well, that's that done. Okay. So, now we need to start figuring out how we are going to 
get this copper back here and we need to start figuring out a floor so I think the first thing I want to do is I want to do a logistics floor for the trucks look at that we're right on top of a who's coming for me as you was you okay so where where or where should we put this truck floor because there's so many deposits out here I don't want to touch them really or I don't want to get in their way oh there's purple slug over there I have to try and get that later um yeah, I think we just do this as a logistics floor and we continue. Oh no, another one of those. Okay. So, we're then going to want... Some... Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Breaking news for Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Of course they do. Right, okay. Let's give it a slightly shallow ramp. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Right, and then we need to make sure this goes into the ground for each of the Yeah. Come on. There we go, that's what we want. Okay. So now we've got, a, in theory, a gentle way for those trucks to get up here. And then we're going to need to set up some truck stations. To deal with all of this incoming ore. just whop all this out to give us a bit of room to play with so what I'm thinking with this and I'm going to want to bring power over here thank you so we've got the trucks all coming up one way so do 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 transport this is where I'm going to find out I don't have the stuff I need for a truck station I do okay so I don't want them coming along that like that. I think I want them like this. So let's say I want one. Oh, and now I'm missing the modular frames. Okay. Okie jokey. Right, okay. Well, let's work on the walls then so I can separate them. So then we'd have that. And we would have, I don't know, a divider like that. And then how much room are you taking up? You are taking up basically three and a bit. So if we give you three, we give you four. I'd want another set there. Okay. Uh, which means I want to throw that out another set. One, two, three, four. That was one too far. And then I'll need a lane for them to get back out. Uh, 
Yeah, so that gives me three truck stops. And I could do the lane back out this way, actually. So then they are never crossing over each other like that. I like that. And if this is the out, it doesn't matter if it's a sharp drop. Okay, and then yeah, they can just go out, collect their resources as is. Okay, so, shopping list. We need at least two more truck stops. Yep. And then, I don't know, let's start with three trucks. And oh, auto save. Three minor mark twos. Okay. All right. There's our shopping list. So I'm going to head back and go and grab all of that. Um, but as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they will help the channel grow. They help get this out in front of other people. Why is the Steel Express in trouble? I'm going to have to go have a look at that. Um, but yes, likes, comments, subscriptions. They all help the channel grow. They help get out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. I know why the Steel Express is in trouble. I know absolutely why. Um, because I haven't set this off. Set the station up as a block. So it's... Uh, it's going, oh, there's a train in the block. I can't move. Um, completely thrown me all off there. Yes, likes, comments, subscriptions. Let's get back to what we were actually doing. They all help the channel grow and they help get out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Um, I do hope you have enjoyed the episode. I do really enjoy the comments and everything that we've got going on with you guys at the moment. So please, please do keep it coming. Um, and other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for joining me, and I will catch you all next time.